Hey guys, it's Aaliyah with Open Doors, Open Hearts blog, and today I am so excited to talk to you about this DIY aged lamp that I just did. It was so easy, and I absolutely love the way it turned out. I'm sure you guys have seen all of those gorgeous lamps from Restoration Hardware and Pottery Barn, where they're like the aged vases. Um, they kind of look like pottery, and they're just so gorgeous. But the price tag on those is really high. So as much as I like them, I have not brought myself to purchase one yet because I just feel like it's a little bit ridiculous how much they're asking for those lamps. Over at Open Doors Open Hearts blog, I shared how I turned two vases into aged pottery. But in that particular situation, I used a different technique than I used for this lamp. For those vases, I had ne I needed to cover up some of the texture that they already had. They had this patterned texture all up and down them, and I wanted to get rid of that. So I had to use some joint compound to like cake it to the sides to make it look like pottery. But since this, this particular lamp that I found did not have any texture whatsoever, all I had to do was spray paint it for the base so that the rest of the project would adhere to the lamp. But if you're interested in checking out how I did those vases because you have a project that it already has a little bit of texture that you'd like to hide, I'll go ahead and link that in the description below and you can go ahead and check that out. Now, that's not to say that you couldn't still use the joint compound technique on a vase or a lamp that doesn't have texture on the outside. However, I found this different technique, which was one, cheaper, and two, I already had the materials in the house. I did not have to go buy it. I just used baking soda mixed with paint to create a textured look on this lamp. For this aged pottery lamp makeover, I knew I wanted it to be dark because those are the ones that I've been most drawn to. They seem to fit my style of the European country and European farmhouse a little bit more than the white did. So I spray painted it black, but before I spray painted it, I taped around the top part of the lamp and then I also taped down the cord a little bit just so I did not get spray paint all over the parts of the lamp that did not need painted. So now that the lamp was spray painted all black, I went ahead and brought it inside to let it dry for 24 hours. After it had dried for 24 hours, I brought it back upstairs and set it down. I put it on some parchment paper just because it made it easier for me to spin the lamp whenever I needed to move it around. Um, but I just set it down and I mixed chalk paint with baking soda. Now, I have heard that you do one part paint, three parts baking soda, um, but for me, that was too thick. I wanted the baking soda mixture to be gritty, but still liquid, um, not like a thick paste. So I did a little bit less than that. I basically just like mixed the paint and the baking soda together until I found a consistency that I liked. So the paint that I chose to mix the baking soda with was a chalk paint. I like the finish of the chalk paint for this particular project because it is very flat, very matte just by nature. Chalk paint is not, it's not glossy, it doesn't have a satin finish, um, just naturally. So those, that's the paint that I chose to mix with the baking soda. You don't have to use that later in the project. I I actually pulled out some acrylic paint um, and still got the same effect but for this base part I did chalk paint with the baking soda 
So after the chalk paint and the baking soda were all mixed together, I went ahead and grabbed a paper towel and I just dabbed it on the plate and then dabbed the excess off onto the side of the plate and then I just started dabbing it in like circular or line linear motions until the entire vase was covered with this gritty um, baking soda chalk paint mixture. I actually was really excited. Um, I had accidentally got the spray paint on a little bit thick, and so it ran down the side of the lamp. But then when I started dabbing on the chalk paint baking soda mixture, I noticed that it helped kind of hide it a little bit, so that was super exciting. So if you're like me, and you go a little heavy on your spray paint, um, then you'll be okay because the baking soda, the texture of the baking soda will really help hide some of that, the runs. So after I had the entire lamp covered in my first coat of the black chalk paint and the baking soda, I left that dry and then I brought it back out again and I started mixing those uh, two acrylic paint colors. I have a black and then I have a tan and I just started mixing them together until I got a nice dark brown grayish color. Um, I mixed in some baking soda with that. I didn't do quite as much baking soda for this particular part of it um, because I felt like I already had a lot of nice texture. So then I just did the same thing that I did with the first paint mixture. I just took the paper towel, dabbed it in there, and started dabbing all around the basic, or I'm sorry, the lamp again. And I did all that one color, and then I let it dry, and then I added a little bit more tan, mixed it in, and then I took another paper towel, did the same thing. I tried to do this, I think, I think I ended up doing like four different layers with four different colors. I feel like the one, the baking soda gives it texture and depth, but then also the variation in the different colors, the different layers that you put on the vase also adds that um, depth and that texture that you'll see on the restoration hardware or the pottery barn lamps. After I had all of the layers of paint on the base of the lamp and that was all done, then it was just time to get a lampshade. And this is actually a lampshade that we had in our house and so I just grabbed it and added it and I felt like it was really nice. The first lampshade that I put on was like a creamy, a little tan and I didn't feel like it went really well with this particular lamp. So then I went and grabbed a different one that we have and swapped, I actually just swapped them. Um, and this, I feel like this lampshade looks so much better on this lamp than the other one did because it's white and it also has that nice shape um, that a lot of those other the inspiration lamps have. So I really love the way that this lamp turned out. I love when I walk in the front door here and I see it in the corner of the room or I'm walking down the hallway and I see it. It's just, it sticks out. It just looks so nice. I absolutely love it. And it was so easy to make. I will say getting the paint inside of the little handles was a little difficult and so my hands definitely got messy trying to like shove the paper towel in there. Probably looking back on it, what I would do different is go grab a paintbrush and just dab it in the paint because then I feel like I'd be able to get in there better. I did not put any sealer on this lamp because I really like I just the flatness of it and um, I just really like the feel. Overall, I am so happy with how this DIY aged lamp makeover turned out. I feel like it looks very similar and it was so much more affordable. So if you have some baking soda on hand, then you can definitely do this and have a gorgeous lamp for so much less. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that you click the subscribe button down below. See ya.